A very good afternoon team Zimbabwe and welcome to Africa and Beyond the Television Network. We we'll continue to take a look on what is happening in the nation Zimbabwe. There is a controversial issue which is circulating right now in the nation Zimbabwe. We have seen so many allegations now pointing at the general general Chiwenga. Remember, factional battles, factional fights in Zanu PF have um, reached an alarming rate. And at this point in time, anything can be said, anything is possible, and each and every faction or side will be trying to uh, put up a, a, a good picture and change um, the picture of the other faction. Let us take a look onto the accusations raised against Vice President uh, Chiwenga. Right I'm now. wondering who killed Jinimbi, Genius Kadugure, and for what reason? Justice for Jinimbi. Hashtag justice for Jinimbi. Jinimbi was killed. The mastermind is General Chiwenga, the current vice president of Zimbabwe, the current vice president of ZANU PF. What was the reason? Jinimbi was thought to be. Influencing Mary Chiwenga to attempt to kill General Chiwenga in a hospital in Pretoria, South Africa. Secondly, when General Chiwenga was sick, seeking medical attention in China, Mary Chiwenga and Jinimbi went on a house buying spree in Pretoria or Hauteng in South Africa. So General Chiwenga had the belief that Jinimbi was the mastermind. He begged Emerson Mnangawa and Isaac Moyo, the Director General of the CIO, to sign. And they did. Jinimbi was taken on his way in the morning from the birthday party. He was taken and they were killed. They were, oh, he was shot dead. The people in, in, in the car were shot dead. Then the car was driven to the crime scene. They bent the car to discontaminate the evidence, like fingerprints, so that people they don't see the bullet holes. They bent the friends alive so that they, 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 they also contaminate the witness. Sorry, the evidence. So, Jinimbi was killed by General Chiwenga, and Mary Chiwenga was poisoned, multiple poisons. And Mary Chiwenga is being managed to die slowly. So, Jinimbi and Mary Chiwenga is the wake of General Chiwenga. Apparently, the new wife, current wife, they dated before Mary Chiwenga was even uh, poisoned and Jinimbi was killed. Apparently, the general is not so general in the battle. And the current wife is cheating. But the current the boyfriend must be careful. He's the next. So, hashtag justice for Jinimbi. Hashtag justice for Jinimbi. General Chiwenga. Emma Surmanangawa, Isaac Moyo must be arrested. Thank you, Zimbabwe. One of the most important issues is to note that, that um, this whole issue, although there are certain names which are being called, uh, they must be arrested, or whatever. What we have to note is that there is one man who was called vividly to be involved. In this whole thing what does the other two gentlemen uh, uh what do they have to lose in this whole thing remember if ed and this faction if the 2030 agenda is abolished or if they fail to go through the, the leadership of, of zimbabwe what it means is both of them they will go Number one, and the CIO director, 
they will go. So they, have, they, they don't have anything to lose in this accusation because one way or the other, their names have been changed already. But to General Chiwenga, a man who is believed to lead um, elections, if that uh, information then comes and is cemented, it changes his image and is then labeled as a man who cannot succeed Emerson Mnangagwa. That is the biggest problem right here. So the agenda of whatever Wanatina Jonas are doing is to make sure that they taint the image of General Chiwenga as much as possible. The only thing that Tinashe Jonas is oper uh, operating outside, no, 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 no. He has been there. I have been arguing as a child uh, uh, Kutanga Kutazar Kutesh. Kuti, from day one, he has been working for the regime because the domes are actually. I know Tinashe Jonas personally, um, and uh, whatever we're saying right here is just information of what we're talking about. So right now, the real direct attack on Vice Chiwenga, the agenda being silencing him and the great, with the aim of elevating other people other than General Chiwenga. So what the issue you need to know is that um, this issue dealing with is a very sensitive issue. I remember at a certain point in time when we were fighting some people who wanted to hijack our platform and hijack us. They wanted us to lose Jamisa. They wanted to send a message, uh, us to send a message, a good Jamisa has failed. I refused. My platform was attacked to a point that a lot of people were not right to Vunzauti. Why are you not going live? Even if you are live, you will not see people coming. It's because our platforms were attacked. My platform specifically was attacked by a spiral they tried to hijack it they failed they used a, a, a malware to attack i don't know what you call it um to attack it so that we do not we are not seen by a lot of people so they, they will be using third party applications uh to to try and and outmaneuver you from, from this whole thing and to a certain extent extent they succeeded so right now they are now fighting us with some copyrights with an aim to make sure that we get styled by youtube and we get deleted from youtube this is what they are fighting right now as we speak this is what they are fighting and personally i am ready even to go to court with them so as to prove uh my uh, violate the the the, 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 the computer is very very serious is very, very serious because if our jewel was not giving them sleepless nights, they wouldn't fight us. They wouldn't deploy some people to go and tarnish images of other people. They have destroyed the, the several images of our people. They have tried by all means possible to tarnish the image of uh, President Nelson Chamisa. They, 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 Chamisa, as we speak right now, Madzmai, Arume, Kuti, we need any peace in Oguna Kungo Tipa, a lead to create a scandal against Nelson Chamisa. But thank God, because he knows that he is being watched and is being followed and is trying by all means possible to evade. So we must put it in our hearts to say, let us pray for whatever which is happening in Zimbabwe so that God comes on our side, comes to our rescue. Because without God, there is nothing we can do. I am telling you this. We have been attacked several times to a point that you, 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 you get sick. And then it's now very difficult to, to say, I'm going to meet so and so because you cannot trust anybody. You cannot trust anybody because you don't know who you are going to meet and what they are going to do unto you. I experienced it in uh, towards the, 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 the end of at the end of August. And up to this day, so many attempts have been made. So when we are dealing with these issues, we are talking about these issues, but we must put it in mind that this battle we are fighting 
he has been fought and has been attacked several times by very, very powerful people. So in conclusion, personally, I find the issues raised by Tinache Jonas against the Vice President Chiwenga, uh, these are unfounded allegations. This is my own view. Yes, there are issues involving Mary Chiwenga, whatever, how General Chiwenga treated Mary Chiwenga. We disagree on how it uh, treated Mary Chiwenga. But the major issue is what happened first. That is what is very important. What happened first? Because I know that Mary Chiwenga probably made certain mistakes when General Chiwenga was sick. Those mistakes are the reason why Mary Chiwenga is where she is today. And sometimes, if you have experienced what I have experienced as an individual, this is not Simbarandi Naru. If you have a Kanakuruguti, then you could experience it. Kuti unongoi taumwe uruguere usinga nzuisi siki. Then you understand how dangerous these people can be. And you understand the reaction of Vice President Chiwenga in all this. But as to did he apply or ask for an order to hit on, on Jinimbi? Personally, uh, I, I don't think, I do not think that he had to go. Uh, that, that, that far uh, to, to, to such an extent. This is my own view. This is my own thinking. So I know that you'll be dragged along because of the relationship which he had. Um, Nana Jinimbi, Kuti, Jinimbi and Mary were related somewhere, somewhere. And um, as for the other things you talked about, you have to look at what does the wife of Vice, of Vice President Chiwenga lose if she just become faithful and she focuses on what is very important, what does she lose? Nothing. Okay, what does she stand to gain if Chiwenga becomes the president? So is this the time she is uh, uh, um, supposed to, to, to be jeopardizing any opportunity, given that she knows the extents of General Chiwenga when he's angry? So. I, I don't know, guys, your thoughts, your views, but personally, um, I, I, I do not see the hand of General Chuenga in all these allegations. My view is that Varku Pomerwa, Chikonzero Ndeche Kuti Muru Me Aku Diwana Lanu Mzanu PF Kutaite take over. It's because Zanu PF, Yala Club, Yala Shoma, only a few are eating, the rest are suffering. Look at the policies they have brought. Who? in his rightful mind, will continue to support this. None. So this is it, Tim Zimbabwe. Your views are of paramount importance. Let us hear. What do you really think in the comment section?